hi guys and welcome to the latest video this is going to be a little video a shortish video um, about the kind of a slightly more difficult side of selling on eBay and even if you're a pretty relaxed person um, as you guys know I'm pretty laid back there are occasions where people are going to push you at the end of the day eBay is a business where you have to deal with customers they are the lifeblood of your business and 99.9% .9 of them are going to be fantastic and you're going to have no issues however you're always going to come across somebody that there is just no pleasing um, and I recently had that scenario and I just wanted to share it with you and just so that if there's some of you out there that are new or haven't quite had this happen to you yet um, but just know that this is something that probably will happen to you at some point and how to deal with it and, and what to do about it really. Now, um, I've sold a few of these um, radio control helicopters. Um, I've sold them for about £80 um, and I'd come down to my like last one and I was you know, getting a few sales in and having a good day. Someone threw me an offer for one of these um, for £60 which is less than I would normally accept because I can make more money parting out. But I thought, you know what, I've sold a bunch of them. I'm well into profit. It's another £60 in the bank. Um, I'll take it. Now, this um, offer of £60 came from a buyer that asked a lot of questions. Now, a lot of people automatically see that as a red flag. Personally, I don't because I've actually sold a lot of items to people that have asked a lot of questions. And more often than not, what happens is when, the, as long as you're able to answer and they're happy when they receive the item, they're very grateful for the help you've offered and uh, are, are really then you know going to be good customers going forward, leaving like positive feedback saying that you're a helpful seller, etc. However, there are obviously occasions where if someone's asking an awful lot of questions, so the questions I were getting I was getting were um, mostly around does it work? Does it work? Are you sure it flies fine? Um, even though I'd obviously stated that it works fine um, in the in the listing, and um, and then there was a lot of like kind of hardball bargain uh, bargaining about the price, but and, and we eventually settled on sixty. And I thought, okay, I, I was happy. I'll take sixty. It's all good. Um, typically, as soon as the item was received by the customer, I got another message. Um, and the message was, oh, I've received it and this is wrong with it. Uh, there's something wrong with it. It's not flying properly. Um, demanding another 14 odd pounds off the price so that he could get the supposedly faulty part. Now, the thing is, initially that kind of got me thinking, oh, this has got to be um, a scam, right? Or, or it's got to be... So he, he was already angling for money off. So now he's just angling for more money off. But, you know, so I called his bluff and I was like, no, I'm not going to give you. I've already given you uh, a massive discount when selling it that I normally wouldn't give. Asking to me to give you like another £14 off. It's just not going to happen. You know, just send it back to me. You know, it's, I, at that point, I'd realized I'd, I was better off selling this to someone else for £80 like I normally do um, rather than dealing with this. And I, I had a sus, like a suspect feeling that, that perhaps the seller was just trying to get more money off because the photo he'd attached of the fault wasn't a fault. Um, if I could show you guys the, the helicopter, you can see here that's called a swash plate um and he like this section here that's called a swash plate um and he was claiming it was coming f loose and uh, that may be why he was having trouble flying it helicopters are notoriously difficult to fly anyway um but i couldn't see anything wrong with the photo and i was like okay whatever and i just said just send it back and I, th I thought he, that would call his bluff and he probably wouldn't open a return or he wouldn't send it back. He did open a return and he did send the helicopter back. Now, it turns out that the real cause of the issue, the real cause of why it wasn't flying properly is because he had obviously taken it out, 
tried to fly it, and bear in mind, helicopters are not easy to fly, and he'd just broken the boom tail. This tail fits in there fine, and when you re when I received it, I did receive it with the tail still in place, but you can see that it had cracked, and once this cracks, it moves when it's, you know, when the blades are spinning really fast, this thing moves, and it, the, you, it'll make the helicopter impossible to... Um, to keep track of now luckily this piece is only seven pounds to replace the, the 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 tail itself not the motor and the rotor but the tail itself the, the this bar basically with the little wire coming out of it, it's like seven pounds to replace so but the fact is the guy was asking for the wrong part and he was asking me for money off to replace the wrong part that still wouldn't have caused the fix the issue um you know he probably didn't think that a small crack like that would affect the helicopter because that actually fits into the back of the helicopter and you you know you'd think it wouldn't but even a slight movement in this during flight is going to take it out of control and i was just like i was just glad to get it back but obviously you know he'd just broken it and you know he he was trying to get more money off of me to repair it but he would have repaired it incorrectly he would have bought it and then realized you know it still wasn't the right thing and it would have just caused more hassle and he would have perhaps then wanted uh, to send it back after that anyway or demanded more money off uh, for, for to buy the right part and it was just a bit of a kind of like not worth the hassle situation um but as a seller all I could do in that case was just stick to my guns and say, you know, if it's not working, I'm sorry, it's not working. I, I, it was working when I sent it, um, you know, send it back. And he did send it back. But as a seller now, all I can do is give him his money back, which I have done. I've refunded him in full. And I have now received an item back that's not in the same condition that I sent out. You know, he's basically broken it because helicopter, radio control helicopters are not easy to fly. Even ones that are like this, which are designed to be easy to fly, they're still not easy to fly. It's not like flying a drone. You still have to put in pretty much continuous inputs on the transmitter to control this thing, just to get it to hover in one place. Um, so, you know, he's bought it, he's broken it, and he, he's gotten his money back, and I'm left with a broken product. And that's the end of it. And as a seller, you have to accept... Well, by the way, this is not a short video, is it? Um, but as a seller, you have to accept that this is going to happen, um, and it is one of the costs of doing business. Um, you can't get worked up over it. You can't get... Um, you know you can't get caught up on it etc um the point of this video is just to make you aware that it's going to happen and you're going to have to take the hit you're going to be left with a damaged product it's not going to take me any time to fix this really um and i'll put it back up for sale and this time i'll probably ask 90 pounds or something and i'll probably get it you know to be honest coming into christmas it's perfect gift type item um, but what you can do, and it might seem really futile to do this, but the option is there from eBay, um, is report the buyer. Now, eBay themselves know that your sellers are going to be in this situation where they're going to receive items back that are not um, as they sent them out and, and the returns are going to be misused um, and things like that. eBay know this and that is why they have the report the buyer system. It may seem really futile after you've just been, um, you know, like, uh, you know, if, after you've just had your item returned damaged and you still have to give them back all the money and you're just left with a damaged item, which can smart. But once you've gotten over that, you must go over to your orders page, um, click on the buyer and you will get this screen. Now, this screen says report to buyer and it has these options available. So buyer made unreasonable demands. Um, I could certainly have clicked that for this buyer because, you know, just the amount of messages um, I, I received looking back in hindsight, um, then it's um, buyer, um, was it buyer did what? Buyer abused a protection program. Um, so, you know, you've got that option there as well. Um, and then you've got um, buyer misuse returns or other problems. So you just choose what you think is the appropriate um, option and just submit it. It may not feel like it's doing anything, but you may as well use 
what eBay have provided um, in terms of recourse as a seller. And you know, if a buyer gets enough of these on their account, if, because if because obviously it's a community thing, everyone has to do this. Um, if you do find a buyer that's that's difficult, um, you know, obviously don't misuse it yourself. Um, eBay probably has a system for sellers that are just knocking out reports on buyers on a daily basis. They probably won't take those into consideration and could see that as a misuse of the policies and whatever. So bear that in mind guys but you know if you do find that you, you know you've genuinely been uh put in a situation where a buyer has kind of misused a return so for example if you're one of the clothing resellers out there the amount of times you hear um stories where people have bought clothes for the weekend they come back smelling of perfume under the um it doesn't fit excuse um you know that's a misuse of the returns report them for it so if they're a serial clothes borrower eventually it will get flagged up and eventually ebay will do something you won't they make it pretty clear that you won't know the outcome um they do make it clear that you won't know the outcome of this stuff that you know what have whatever happens so you, it is very much in their hands um but you do hear the odd story where buyers um you know where i, I believe it happened once to, i think it was joe reselling for pennies mentioned ages ago where a case was automatically closed in joe's favor after a buyer had opened it and it was just due to the buyer probably previously opening a lot of cases and this time as soon as this buyer opened a case it was closed in in the in the um, seller's favor because this buyer's obviously been abusing the open cases of, of, of items not received or whatever it was so it does have an impact um, it's there for a reason but it's only going to be useful if um, as sellers we use the report a buyer option anyway guys I'm sorry if I rambled a little bit but I hope you got the point of the video um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you found it useful leave a comment and a thumbs up I do appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching